Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. A crack in one of Antarctica's largest ice shelves, Larsen C, has grown 17 miles in the last two months. It now reaches over 100 miles in length. Scientists are concerned that the stability of the whole ice shelf will be threatened once the crack reaches across the shelf and breaks off within a few months. The break will create one of the largest icebergs ever recorded, according to Project Midas, a research team that has been monitoring the rift since 2014. When an ice shelf collapses, the glaciers behind it can accelerate toward the ocean, triggering even more global sea rise. The Environmental Protection Agency's presence at an environmental conference in Alaska last week was cut in half by Trump's administration. Days before the Alaska Forum on the Environment, it was reported that half of the EPA's 34 attendees wouldn't be coming. This year, agency officials were scheduled to take part in about 30 sessions on issues such as drinking water, sanitation in rural Alaska, and climate change adaptation. Although EPA transition official Doug Erickson said the decision to cut back was an effort to limit excessive travel costs, many forum leaders worry this might be a sign of broader budget cuts to come. Last week, UPS announced it will invest $18 million in on-site solar installations, beginning with eight of its U.S. facilities. This renewable energy expansion project will add 10 megawatts of solar capacity by the end of this year increasing UPS's on-site production by 500%. UPS's huge presence on the ground across the U.S. gives the company an opportunity to increase its energy efficiency, especially as online shipping continues to increase in popularity and as the company opens up more distribution centers and warehouses. Construction has begun on Asia's first vertical forest in Nanjing, China, called the Nanjing Green Towers, designed by Italian firm Stefano Boeri Architetti. Two green towers will stand over the city, covered in over 1,100 trees and 2,500 cascading plants. The forest will be built with alternating levels of green tanks and balconies, and will soak up urban air pollution, produce clean oxygen, and boost local biodiversity. The man-made forest will absorb 25 tons of carbon dioxide annually and produce about 132 pounds of oxygen every day which is crucial to help fight China's dangerous smog. The project is expected to be completed in 2018. The United Kingdom's parks are at a tipping point of decline due to steep budget cuts. Over 92% of park budgets have been cut by local authorities. The environmental benefits of parks are extremely important, with trees curbing air pollution, parkland absorbing rain and reducing flooding, and planted areas providing habitat for wildlife. With climate change expected to cause more heat waves, parks can also cool urban areas. According to environmental consultant Michelle Furtado, green spaces can cut local temperatures by 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Local authorities and ministers should dedicate central government funding to parks to resolve this issue. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.